comes to your mind when you think of South Africa? I'm sure some of you pictured something like this behind me. And I'm here to tell you today that this is not what, that this is not what we saw when we visited. Throughout the week, we worked with children from our partner primary school, Denegur. Valerum has an, had an international partnership with Denegur and Grabau since 2005. Every year, we sponsor 19 students from Denegur to attend Grabau. This gives the opportunity of higher aspirations and greater prospects for the future. Since 2008, we have raised £99,000 through various fundraising events towards enhancing staff and offering financial support towards the school. During our trip, we worked on a painting project to brighten up school and offer interactive games for the children. At break time, we had the opportunity to engage and find out more about the students and their lives. Most were from impoverished areas and lived in shanty towns or farmhouses of a similar standard. We were also taken into a shanty town, which was much more overwhelming than we thought it would be. There were tiny children playing in the skips and the streams, um, and we were shocked at the injustice of having to live that way. But however, we were greeted by smiles and waves by every single person that we walked past, and we realised that the children were more than content with their makeshift games. This brings us on to our point for today. Everyone expects us to feel really sorry for people in poverty and feel lots of sympathy for them, or wish they could change it in some way. But from our first-hand experiences, we didn't feel sorry for the people that we met. We simply learned an important lesson from them. <laughs> Throughout the week, the children were never seen without a smile on their faces, and they never let anything bring them down, regardless of their poor living conditions. They were full of energy from 8 in the morning to well after the end of the school day, and they often remained behind after school to help us with our painting projects and contribute ideas with so much enthusiasm. If they can be content with such a non-materialistic lifestyle and not let it get in their way of education or friendships, then maybe we should think about their situation next time we're having a bad day. Their standards of living are much worse than yours or mine, but they smile through it and get on with their lives. So the lesson that we learned that is instead of feeling sorry for people like this, we should feel respect towards them and learn from their positive outlook on life. Thank you. Thank you.